July 12th, 2017. I remember it like it was yesterday. I was outside doing some landscape work. It was a hot day out, blistering hot in Minnesota, almost reaching 100 degrees. I know in some places that's not a big deal, but here it was. I was just finishing a grueling day of hard manual labor in the hot, hot heat, laying down rock. I had a wheelbarrow, a third full of black dirt, leftover, that I didn't need anymore, hence being leftover. I suppose I'm getting ahead of myself already. I should give you the lay of the land. I live in a new construction house because I'm a big deal and I'm worth it. Behind me is a retirement center of sorts. It's basically just townhouses that old people live in. Nothing more to it. It's not like it's got a staff and, and you know, others changing their diapers and shit. It's just a place where, where some old people live. Next to them is an empty lot, uh, a dirt lot. Nothing in it but grass, rock, and the good old black dirt itself, the, the good old ground. Like any normal person, I would take some of my leftover weeds and dirt and pour them into that lot instead of, I don't know, putting it in like a compost bag and, and taking it down the street to another dirt lot. I just use the one that's behind my house. <laughs> Things go south fast on this particular day, June 12th. 2017. As I wheel barrel down my fucking steep hill, and the wheel, keep in mind, on the wheel barrel is flat. It's always flat. You can keep a wheel full on one of these fucking things for a whole two loads of dirt before that thing goes kaput. So I'm going dun, 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 down the hill, hitting every fucking hole on the way, and then flip the hands under the handles and or the dirt. I do one of these to shake out the rest of the dirt. Also looks like I'm jerking out two giants. And I stop before I finish, before they finish, and I look up. Hey! A shrieking howl of a banshee above me. It's a woman who's probably in her mid to late 60s. She's not on death's doorstep yet, but she wants to be. She needs to be after this conversation. She looks down at me with her bird-like eyes and says, you can't be in here. You can't dump garbage in this lot. Typically, I'd let this old hag run a drive-by on me, but I wasn't particularly friendly at the moment. I felt like being sarcastic douchey at him. So the barrel's fully dropped now. <clears throat> I look up at her, and I'm like, okay, I'll bite. What's the problem, bitch? I didn't say the bitch. I added that here. I should have said it to her, but I didn't. I still have some respect. I'm a respectful person. She looks down at me from her perch, and she says, This is private property, you piece of shit. She didn't say that piece of shit part either. I'm, I'm adding a little drama to it, okay? But it, I guess I didn't need to. It's chock full of it. It's ripened with it. She says, You can't be here. I'm just dumping some dirt out. I reach in and grab some of the scrap dirt that's left in the barrel, and I sprinkle it on the ground in front of my fucking face at her. I go, Look! I'm just putting more of what's already there. She's not having it. She says, I've seen some other things in there. Bramble, brush, rock, other things of that nature. Other things of nature, mind you. Ma'am, this is my last load of the night. I want to go to bed. It's getting late. Can we be done with this? This conversation lasts, I shit you not, a full 10 minutes of a back and forth reaction that didn't lead how most of them do in sitcoms with the couple having sex. Although she was a tasty minx for her age, I'm joking, she was ugly beyond all reason. She says to me, it's an eyesore. It's an eyesore to pour more dirt on dirt. I don't know what the fuck she's going off about anymore. I'm like, ma'am, do you think I'm the only one that pours dirt back here? There's other people in this neighborhood that put their grass clippings, their mulch away. What do you want us to do? This is ridiculous. And she goes, I'm not the only one that has a problem with it. Other people in the community are talking. That set me off. Oh, other people are talking about the riffraff that moved in. The man and his wife and his two fucking kids who works a full-time job as a stupid YouTube show, has freelance works, doing landscaping. He's just trying to get through the fucking day. He poured some dirt back here on a dirt patch and by your stupid loft. It's not even a loft. It's a townhouse. It's worse than a loft. It's shit. Your shit. You're going to die soon. You know what I'm doing down here, ma'am? I'm digging your fucking grave. I'm going to bury you in it in a second if you don't back off. There's a lot of ways I want to go about this. I didn't say any of that. 
I mean, I did say the rip rap part. I thought that was pretty funny and the people talking. But it was pretty much a back and forth circle jerk and no one's getting a real good game out of it. I just ended how it always ends. It's like, mm-hmm, 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 okay, uh, it's noted. You know what, ma'am? I won't pour any more dirt back here again because my landscape's done. But the next time I do have some landscape to do, guess what, bitch? I'm back here again. Once again, I didn't say the bitch. I did say that I'm back here again, though. I'm not backing off. We live in a world chock full of poverty, depression, violence. And you want to talk to me about pouring some fucking dirt? How about reevaluate your life? Think about how precious and perfect it must be if this is your biggest problem of the day. Get a hobby. Find something to do instead of looking out the window at the dipshit who's getting rid of some of his dirt. Just get the fuck off of me and live your life to its fullest. You don't have a lot of life left, man. And if you're depressed and sad and need someone to hold, come on down. And she does. I set down the shovel, I embrace her, I rub her back, I say, shh, everything's gonna be okay. And she tucks into my breast. And at that moment, she knew she was free. And then it happened. I snapped her fucking neck and I dropped her into that hole that I was digging the whole time, buried her. She was still alive, I hope, screaming as the dirt choked her last dying breath. And I slept nice that night. Slept real nice.